there. Today we're going to look at division using a place value chart and long division at the same time. That's right, we know that they are both methods for solving division problems, so today we'll look at how they relate to one another. Plus we're going to divide some big numbers. Ready to get started? <laughs> So I promised big numbers. How about 783? We'll be dividing 783 by 3. Let's start by setting up our place value chart and our long division equation. Which of these choices is correct? Great! We have 783 in the place value chart with three groups below to represent dividing by 3. And in long division we have 783 inside the house and the divisor, 3, outside. We're all set and ready to go. Let's start with the largest unit. What should we be dividing first? We have 700s disks here, so we'll be dividing 700s by 3. That's 1, 2, and 3. We still have more, so we'll keep going. 1, 2, 3. We divided 700s by 3 and got 200s as our quotient, with one disk remaining. Show that as long division. Which one of these is correct? Back on our place value chart, we recorded 200s three times. Which multiplication sentence represents that? That's right, we had 200s three times and our answer was 600s. We write the 6 down here. We started with 700s, then distributed 600s, so we have 100 remaining. So our 700s minus 600s equals 100. Now look at our tens place. How many tens do we still have left to be divided? We have these eight tens here left to be divided. So in our long division sentence, we bring this eight down. Now we have 108 tens, or 18 tens. See, in our place value chart, this one remaining hundred disk can be decomposed into 10 tens disks. Now we have 18 tens. Which sentence tells us how we should distribute these 18 tens? We want to divide these 18 tens by 3, and that gives us 6 tens in each column. 18 tens divided by 3 equals 6 tens. So 6 tens times 3 equals 18 tens. We distributed all 18 disks evenly and have none remaining. And here in our long division sentence, we have 18 tens minus 18 tens equals 0. Now what is left to distribute? We've distributed the hundreds, then the tens, now we have to distribute the ones. We have three ones to distribute. Which division sentence represents how we should distribute these ones? We have three ones and we want to divide by three, which gives us one one in each group. Three ones divided by three is one one. We recorded one one three times and that gave us three. So we had three ones, and we distributed three ones. So three ones minus three ones equals zero. That checks out. 783 divided by three equals 261 with no remainder.